Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to MBA again. My name is Akash Shinde. In this video, we'll discuss about I am Kashipur. So let's start with the basic. This is the MBA analytics program for 2026-28 batch, which is specialized for two-year MBA program. That's all about analytics and data-driven decision making. So duration of this program is two years. Location Kashipur, Uttarakhand. Now this is not your typical MBA. This program is less focused on you. It is more focused on analytic driven business world. So if we talk about the courses such as machine learning, business intelligence, predictive analytics, and how to make strategic decisions using data. In today's job market, I feel that companies are not just looking for MBA. They want MBAs who can interpret data, build model, drive insights, and this program positions you at the right intersection of business and analytics. Now let's talk about whether you uh, how you can apply for this program or not. There are three main eligible criteria, and this is very crucial. So pay attention to this. First is your bachelor's degree. You need any discipline. I mean, any engineering, commerce, art, science doesn't matter. Here's the catch: you need minimum 50 percentile marks. So if you are from NC, OBC, or EWS category, that drops to almost 47 percent. And for SC, ST, PWD, it is 45 percent. Second one is qualifying criteria. So you need a valid CAT 2025 score or GMAT score, and this is very important. If you are taking GMAT, it must be taken after May 1st, 2024. No old school would be considered. Third, this is what confuses people a lot. Uh, 10 plus 2 plus 3. Basically, you need to complete your 10 years of schooling, 2 years of secondary school, 3 years of bachelor's degree. If you have 4 years of bachelor's degree, that also works. One thing to note, uh, if you are still in final year of engineering or your BBA or whatever dream uh, that you chose, make sure that you will complete the degree before the program that is going to start. Now, the admission process. There are three stages. Let me walk through one by one. First stage is online application. It is very straightforward. Submit your online application form with required documents and pay the application fee. We'll talk about documents and fee in later details. So keep watching. Stage two is where it is very interesting. This is a merit based and your, your score will be taken into consideration. Your academic performance, diversity and shortlist is out of 80. This is where reality and strategy matters. Stage three, uh, if you are shortlisted, you will be called for the personal interview with 20 marks and final selection is based on your shortlist score. 80 plus your interview score of 20 making a total of 100. So here's something important for you. You need to perform well in both stages. A great shortlist with poor interview won't save you and vice versa. Now, if I talk about shortlisting, let's talk about how shortlisting work and let's break down the components. First one is qualifying exam. Right? Your CAT or GMAT percentile. This is 30 points. If you have scored 95 percentile, you get 95 divided by 100 multiplied by 30. So if you do the simple math, 28.5 points out of 30. Second one is class 10 mark, 5 percentile. So your 10 percentile gives you 5 points. Take your percentage, divide by 100 and multiply it by 5. If you have scored 85 percentile in class 10, that is 4.25. Class 12th, worth 10 points. Same calculation, percentage divided by 100, multiplied by 10. 90 percent in class 12 that's nine points so your graduation marks are worth 15 points but here is interesting it's tired based on your percentage the exact tires are not known in the slides but generally higher percentage fetch you more points in terms of the 15 point score so here's guys the strategy matters work experience is worthwhile with 11.5 pointers right uh, be, be, before that guys just focus on this work experience right because uh, so many students are asking me what kind of work experience that they require so if you look at the weightage 11.5 percent if you have full-time work experience i mean six months plus maximum benefit up to 18 to 24 months discipline they have given a weight percentage of 2.5 and non-engineering background 2.5 points for gender diversity six percentage so you'll get six pointers and this is all out of 80 pointers if i talk about work experience so guys i feel that uh, you know here if you have too much work experience you'll definitely lose the points because they really want fresh candidates 
who can adapt to the environment and if you see here the sweet spot is 18 to 24 months if you are exactly this experience you'll get the maximum benefit but not all work experience counts let me clarify what's valid work experience right because so many students are asking you know explicitly mentioned ki ki agar art 18 se 34 months ka work ek se to that is a sweet spots but 12 se 18 hai ya 30 to 36 hai to you'll get six pointers abhi valid experience ki baat karte hain right the uh, if i talk about valid experience full time experience i would say the employment with income tax deduction pf or professional tax is included you should have salary slip from company bank to a personal bank account and you should have a bachelor's degree which is completed what is invalid is internship apprenticeship article ship which is not part of your course and part time or upi payments family business or partnership firm doesn't work so this is very crucial if you are claiming work experience make sure you have proper documentation and they will verify everything to you now let's talk about diversity points right this is where some of you gain a specific advantage if you are from a non engineering background you'll get 2.5 points automatically let's see what other backgrounds qualify right so if you get a bonus you'll get if you have studied bsc mathematics statistics physics chemistry economics cs it data science biotechnology bcom with accounting and finance specialization if you are from bsca which is bachelor of computer applications and if you are from professional degree ca cs icwa you will definitely get a bonus points for i am then if you notice here something you on technical fields like computer science or data science count as non engineering right so engineering backgrounds b btech get zero diversity point because iams mein abhi so many people are coming from engineering background right so guys ye thoda soch samajh ke chalo this is very important and uh, it is very important for your further steps right so guys agar baat kare total points ki just a second mai aapko kuch show karna chahta hu jo 80 points wala mark dekho yaha in 80 points unhone mention kiya hai तो थर्टी फ्रॉम एंट्रेंस फाइव फ्रॉम क्लास टेन टेन फ्रॉम क्लास ट्वेल्थ फिफ्टीन फ्रॉम ग्रेजुएशन एलेवन पॉइंट फाइव फ्रॉम वर्क एक्सपीरियंस टू पॉइंट फाइव फ्रॉम जेंडर डायवर्सिटी सिक्स फ्रॉम जेंडर डायवर्सिटी राइट तो इससे डिसिप्लिन डायवर्सिटी एंड जेंडर डायवर्सिटी मिला के पॉइंट हो रहे राइट सो इफ यू लुक एट हिट लेट मी टॉक अबाउट द डॉक्यूमेंट्स क्या क्या डॉक्यूमेंट सबमिट करने आपको वेन इट कम्स टू आई एम राइट सो so, अगर आप बात करें डॉक्यूमेंट्स की प्लीज कीप हैंडी दिस डॉक्यूमेंट्स ई डब्ल्यू एस सर्टिफिकेट क्लास टेन ट्वेल्थ ग्रेजुएशन मार्कशीट वैलिड कैट स्कोर वर्क एक्सपीरियंस डिटेल्स इनकम टैक्स डॉक्यूमेंट्स बैंक स्टेटमेंट्स एंड डिग्री एंड माइग्रेशन सर्टिफिकेट सो कीप ऑल दिस सर्टिफिकेट हैंडी पोज दैट अप्लीकेशन फीस बेस्ड इट इज क्वाइट डिफरेंट जनरल एन सी ओ बी सी ई डब्ल्यू एस कैंडी के लिए वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एस सी एस टी पी डब्ल्यू डी सेवन फिफ्टी सो कीप डिजिटल स्कैन ऑफ ऑल डॉक्यूमेंट्स इन हैंडी the last thing that you wanted to you should not rush when it comes to form filling now final selection ki baat karte hain so guys uh, 80% is shortlisting 20% on personal interview total 100 points on sure shortlist you will be called for the personal interviews uh, now withdrawal policy ke bare mein baat karte hain so if you withdraw before program orientation full fees will be refunded up and 100 1000 rupees will be cut it down according to asct so if you withdraw on or after the orientation only caution money will be refunded application fee is not refunded under any circumstance so be sure that if you accept the application once the orientation orientation starts you are financially bound to them right so lastly i'll tell you something key takeaways मिनिमम फिफ्टी परसेंट क्राइटेरिया होना चाहिए कैट जी मैट का स्कोर लेते हैं देन एटी हंड्रेड परसेंट वेटेज इज गिवन सो पोज दैट नॉन इंजीनियर बैकग्राउंड वुड गेट टू पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट्स ट्रांसजेंडर विल गेट सिक्स जेंडर डायवर्सिटी पॉइंट्स एंड फाइनली गाइज इफ यू फाउंड दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल स्मैश दैट लाइक बटन सब्सक्राइब टू मोर एम बी ए कंटेंट एंड ड्रॉप योर क्वेश्चन इन द कमेंट बॉक्स मैंशन अबाउट योर कैट परसेंटाइल एंड आई एल डेफिनेटली कीप इन टच विद यू लाइट सो गुड लक विद योर एप्लीकेशन फॉर्म्स this is not just having a great cat school your strategy matters your application also matters right so put it into chat box your cat percentile how many years of experience do you have we'll discuss about it